Tomorrow, you're going to go to school, you're going to see that teacher, and now you can't even look at her in the eyes anymore. She calls you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's two plus two? Uh, 17. Like, you're going to be scared as hell, my boy, because you knew what you did. You know what you did, my boy. You know you went home that night. Yeah! With the reverse grip. Yeah! Oh, yeah. You know what you did, my boy. Yeah. Shit crazy, my boy. I'm not going to lie. I was a very lustful, dirty, stinky little boy. Like, all you guys out here, like, oh my gosh, like, I've done this, I've done this, I've watched this type of videos, I've watched this type of videos. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Nah, we gotta save that for some beta tales, my boy. If you wanna see some story times, hit a thumbs up on this video right now. If you wanna see some more future beta tales story times on some weird, like, disturbing things I've done in the past, hey, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. But the point I was trying to make earlier was that if you are focused on no fap or whatever, at school, at work, in the shower, in the bathroom, on your desk, in your bed, like, if you're just thinking about it all the time, you will eventually, ah, you will eventually let the whipped cream out. It's inevitable. But other than that though, the other way that dudes tend to relapse in this stupid, stinky loop, this little endless fruit loop, genjutsu thing, is that dudes tend to feel like they're not good enough until they hit a certain day. As I was saying earlier in this video, me personally, I didn't feel good enough unless I hit 90 days on November. And that's a long ass time, bro. Fucking 90 days, bro, three months? Are you kidding me? Especially if it's your first time doing no fat, like damn bro, that's a long ass time, bro. Yo, like you've been going crazy for nine years straight. I'm talking about two to three times, four times, five times a day. And now you wanna go zero times a day for 90 days? Are you goofy? And yes, it is possible for some people, do not get it twisted. But for the majority of people, let's keep it a buck, bro. You're not Superman, you're not Superwoman. My boy, you're not a Greek god. You're not Aaron Yeager. Humble yourself. I'm not saying it's necessarily okay to relapse, but it's like, if it happens, it happens. Especially if you're new to this shit. Or especially if you haven't even gone like 10 days in your life. Bro, the fuck? Five days, that's progress. Six days, is progress. Look, fuck all that nofap shit. It's all about reduce that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just reduce the count. And no, I'm not over here telling you guys that it's okay to bust and shit like that. This video is strictly for all the dudes who are just struggling on like the lower days or whatever. And I don't even like to say lower days because the days don't really fucking matter. I'm gonna keep it above. Don't let the, the day count control you. Because if you let it control you, you're eventually going to <laughs> And the reason why is because you don't feel worthy. What happens when you feel like shit? Keep it above. You either binge on junk food, you binge watch anime, you binge watch Netflix. Like you just like start indulging in bad habits because you don't feel good. You don't feel good in your own reality, in your own life. So obviously you're gonna find a coping mechanism. When you feel down bad, when you feel like shit, are you really gonna meditate? Are you gonna go outside and take a walk? Are you gonna go outside and get some sun? Are you gonna take a cold shower? Are you gonna hit some push-ups? I mean, yeah, if you watch this channel, you probably will say yes, like, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe, not all of you guys, but some of you guys who are very serious on self-improvement, who are very serious about changing your lives, you will do it. But let's face it, my boys, a lot of dudes, they're just, they don't want it bad enough. So when times get tough, that's when your true character is tested and what they're gonna do? <sighs> yeah, I understand you because I've been there. Oh yeah, I've been there countless times, bro. Thousands of times, I relapsed thousands of times. Actually, to be humbly honest, it's, it's a little less. It's like 400, maybe 500 times I busted while knowing about no fan. Yeah, now, this is like throughout the whole little three, four year journey. It is what it is though. I'm just saying that look, you have a choice. The moment you, uh, after you cleaned up the stinky white liquids all over your chest or whatever, you had that choice. Whether to beat yourself up, hopefully not literally, like don't go for a round two, ah, uh, don't beat yourself up literally again, bro. Damn, bro, watch out. Like have some sympathy for your cock. Or the second option is to just sit back and like really like reflect. Hold up, why the fuck did I just do that? Acknowledge the fact that you busted and then realize how far have you come. Pause, because literally like, you probably like, uh, came a lot like it might have went to the ceiling it might have went to the left wall it might have went in your eye and blinded you for a temporary amount of time but just take some time to be grateful for the progress you have made i don't care if it's one day two days three days if it's longer than what you've been doing before when you were an addict you have made progress yeah so with that humbly being said bro this video is slightly long like awesome 17 inch type vibe Damn, bro, like, I will not plan to make this video that long. It is what it is, though. Like, comment down below if you love these long, unfiltered videos, though. If you like this type of video, or should I make, like, shorter videos or what? Like, comment down below. Like, I really want to hear your thoughts. I'm going to read every single damn comment. If I don't respond to your comment, it is what it is. Like, calm down, bro. It does take time to respond. Like, damn, I got to hurt the comment. I got to, like, you know what I'm saying? Take some time to, like, you know what I'm saying? Type out a whole, like, thoughtful response. She's like that. Like, it takes time, bro. Damn. 
Like I used to do that back then. I used to respond to every single comment because back then I only got like 50 comments, 20 comments. Like it makes sense. So of course I'm gonna respond to every single one. But nowadays, like I'm not trying to be egotistical or whatever, but it's like logically speaking, like yeah, bro, it does not make sense to respond to every single one. But of course I'm still gonna check the comments and shit. Like I'm gonna read, I'm gonna try my best to read every single one. It is what it is. So comment down below your thoughts. Whether I should make long videos like this again or should I like I'll make shorter type videos? What you think? But with all that humbly being said, just know to stop caring about the day count, okay? If you bust it in, but it is like, just make changes though. Make changes in your behaviors, AKA change your habits. Like make a daily routine for yourself that works for you. Think about your perfect ideal day and just try your best to follow that routine every single fucking day. Like it's that simple. I know it's easier said than done. You're gonna fall down, but it's all about how you get up, how you get the fuck up. Please my boy, like even if you bust it, like forget about that shit. Just learn the lesson, like take the L as in lesson and keep moving forward like Emeru Zamaki. I know I say this in my videos, but you gotta like really stick this into your brain, bro. You cannot be like just reliving these stinky past negative experiences. You can't. Because if you think negatively, you're gonna be negative. Like it's that simple. But if you think positively, you're gonna be positive. Yeah! And one last thing, my boys. If you really wanna reach that day 90 mark, this is the real way to do it. Like this right here is the ultimate ice cold gem that I'm about to drop in this video because I know this video is mad long and only the real OG Yagis are gonna make it to this point in the video anyways. So to celebrate and to reward you guys for making it to this point in the video, I'm gonna tell you guys this little trick. It's not really a trick, but this is the key right here to make it on no fat. Look, you have to visualize the person you would be at day 90 or the person you would be like, you know what I'm saying, that masculine, legendary man you would have to be in order to reach 100, 200, maybe 300 days. Like really think, what would he be doing? Like, what kind of daily habits would he indulge in? You know what I'm saying? Like, how would he walk? How would he talk? How would he look? How would he smell? Ah! But you really gotta be descriptive, specific. Really visualize in your mind, or maybe type out a page real quick about it on your documents or on your notebook. Like, really just think, bro. Visualize, imagine in your mind, what would that person be like? What would future you be like? And the only way to become that person is to start living like that dude right now. That's the only way. I swear, bro, I know it sounds kind of goofy, but that's literally the only way to make it. Dead ass. Like, obviously, you don't have to be in that exact environment that he's in right now because maybe he might be in a mansion or something. Like, we got to think realistically, though. Like, don't think too hard. Like, don't think like, oh, my gosh, this dude, like me, 90 days from now, I'm going to be a millionaire, but you broke as hell right now. Like, you got to be reasonably unreasonable. I know it's low-key like an oxymoron shot to oxygen and morons, but dead ass, though. Like, you got to, like, have a big-ass dream that you know you could achieve though if you put in that work. Like there gotta be a 50% chance you can make it type vibe. But look, this is like, now we're getting way off topic. That's like a whole different video. I'm telling you, there's so many ice cold videos to make. So just stay tuned, my boy, stay tuned. Cause we back. Yeah, bro, ice cold. You know what I'm saying? The ice cold era has returned. You know what I'm saying? We dropping these ice cold videos. So if, if you've been waiting, shout out to you, my boy. And I low key would give you a, you know what I'm saying? A little slap in the left cheek on some non-homo shit though. But yeah, bro, that's about it, though. This video is probably 66 seconds long. Much love to the Yagi Nation, my boys. We back. Stronger than ever. I'm saying rock solid as ever. Pause! And as always, keep moving forward like the legend himself, Eren Uzumaki. Stay blessed, stay healthy, stay wealthy, because this your boy, Ice Cold JT. Silent.